And today's adventure brings us right back here, right into the heart of downtown St. Paul on a much less snowy <laughs> and slightly warmer afternoon, which is very nice. And this building, this is going to be our building of focus today. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure here in downtown St. Paul. Today we are standing in front of the Minnesota Museum of American Art, where they have a really neat collection, an exhibit going on called A Choice of Weapons, Honor, and Dignity. And this exhibit features the photography work of two artists, one a Jim Crow era photographer named Gordon Parks and another who followed in his footsteps from the 1980s through the present named Jamal Shabazz and their photography work lifted up and empowered black voices in their communities and so I've never been here before so as usual we are going to learn about this place together and if you are brand new to this channel go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. <laughs> this should be fun, you guys. So come on with me. Let's go see what there is to see. And here's where we have entered the museum. Lots of cool little chairs to sit down. There's the front desk. Admission is free here, so if you'd like to make a donation to the museum, you can always do that, which I did. And then this is the front little lobby here. <laughs> Look at this, we're greeted by this. <laughs> Looks like a rope ladder going all the way up to the ceiling. I love the architecture of these old buildings. Wow. And today is family day at the museum. And on family day, all can gather in a room like this and listen to storytelling. Fun thing for the kids to do. And as you can see, this gentleman in the front of the room is telling a story called Grandpa Allen's Sugar Shack. It's pretty crowded in there today, so I don't think we're gonna disturb them with our recording, so. But if you're looking for a fun way for your children to learn, or if you want to just come here and learn yourself, this is one of the fun things that they have to do here at the Minnesota Museum of American Art. If you're interested in attending this event, it's been going since January 23rd. It goes until April 19th of 2020. It's called A Choice of Weapons, Honor, and Dignity, featuring the work of Gordon Parks on this side from the Jim Crow era and then Jamel Shabazz all the way from the 1980s to the present. Very interesting. And here outside the art gallery there's a little collection here featuring Robin Hickman Winfield curator of this exhibit standing right there with Gordon Parks at Howard University in 1986. Wow, very cool. But James Baldwin said it's time for lovers of humanity to find one another. And I, I feel that this is a place for lovers of humanity can find one another and do the righteous thing. If you're a lover of humanity, celebrate and, and, and honor the, the love and the resilience and the hope and the faith, the glory of a people. That has long been denied, the people. And for such a time as this, we all need, all need to be armored up in the glory 
of the people, of the right narrative and the righteous narrative of the people for such a time as this. It has been an honor, really truly, to I served on the board of the M for six years and um, I'm very proud to be walked with um, my colleagues, with my curating angels on this, to stand in this very place where Uncle Gordon once walked when he did work with the Pioneer Press, the Pioneer, old Pioneer Press building. You were walking the streets of Uncle Gordon and walked. Um, to be in this new place where, you know, we a lot of hard work to even just have this amazing, isn't it a beautiful space to renovate, to have this renovated, you know, but to, in this way to have Uncle Gordon take his rightful place back in this building, back in St. Paul. So thanks for coming. Um, this is just so great. I got to just hear Justice Page read his beautiful books. If he has not been a man of honor and dignity in Minnesota, man, how, how cool is that? Um, man, you are speaking. I mean, God, this is, this is great. But this is what this space should look like all the time. Let's demand that this museum feel and look like this all the time, right? Celebrating humanity. All right, but thank you all for coming. Tell people, tell people, tell people. Let's, let's get down here and see this and experience this. Thank you so much. And that's where we just came from. We are now standing in the actual exhibit gallery. And as you can see, there's all sorts of pictures and photographs on display. And we're gonna start off with the ones from the advertisement we were looking at to begin with. This one is the Gordon Parks one, and it's called Black Muslim School Children in Chicago, Illinois in 1963. And then this one is by Jamel Shabazz. Father and Sons, Harlem, New York, 1990. And he says, I see honor and dignity because a father genuinely cares for his sons, raising them to be respectful, Young men, he makes sure their appearance is sharp, they look dignified, it's an honor to be a good father and a value to your children. That is very cool. These next two are also by Jamel Shabazz. This one is called Boys to Men, and it is from Brooklyn, New York in 1997. And then this one is called Daddy's Little Girls. <laughs> also Brooklyn, New York in 1980. I like the contrast there, boys to men and daddy's little girls. It's very sweet. And Gordon Parks was the first African-American staff photographer for Life Magazine. This is one of his pieces for Life Magazine. It is called Mr. and Mrs. Albert Thornton, Mobile, Alabama. And I really like this one because it has kind of an American Gothic feel to it. Just those two people sitting, not smiling or anything, just sitting next to each other on the couch. It's an awesome piece. And I just said the last photograph that we looked at by Gordon Parks had an American Gothic feel to it. Well, he's also famous for this one, which is actually called American Gothic. And it's his take on the famous painting of the same name. And he actually, the building that he worked in, saw this lady mopping the floors. He struck up a conversation with her, and within about 15 minutes after she told him a little bit about his story, she agreed to pose for this picture. And it is called American Gothic. That is very cool. And here are a few more also by Jamal Shabazz. This one is called We Are Family, Hempstead, New York, 2011. This one is called Sunbeams and Eastern Stars, Brooklyn, New York, 2014. Look at all that beautiful color. It's a nice, bright, sunny day. And this one is called One Love, Brooklyn, New York, 2014. He does a great job of capturing that those two, right now, in this moment, they feel like they're the only two people on the planet. That's the feeling I get from this photograph. Really sparks the emotion, and I love that. 
And here's another Gordon Parks one. It's called Uncle James Parks from 1950. And look at that, there is his uncle. Sitting around, it looks like he's deep in thought. Wonder what he's thinking about. And this is another one by Jamel Shabazz. He seems to have a generational feel to his photography, kind of a theme. And this one is actually called One Generation to the Next, Harlem, New York, 1995. And it looks like the son there is honoring his father for everything that he has taught him. And then down here, also a generational feel. <laughs> well, look at that. The daughter is looking up at her respected elder taking a picture. Very, very cute. And here's another one by Gordon Parks. This was also a Life Magazine photograph. It's called Storefront Mobile, Alabama. Look at that. Just takes you back in time with the Coca-Cola. Oh my goodness. Family's just out there hanging out and relaxing. Feels a lot warmer than it is in Minnesota right now too. And this one is called In Home Barbershop by Gordon Parks, Shady Grove, Alabama. This was another Life Magazine photograph. And look at that. Given a haircut and a shave. Got the kids hanging out down here playing with their dolls. This one really has a Norman Rockwell kind of feel to it, except it's not a painting, it's an actual photograph. This is, this is well done. This really, everything about this just screams America. When I first came up to this photograph, I thought it was just a fun summer day with the family enjoying an ice cream cone at the local Tasty Freeze. But then as I looked over at the sign, I found out that Gordon Parks was on assignment for Life Magazine to document segregation in the South. And as you take an even closer look, you'll find out what this is really all about. Very sad. This is a very sad time in American history, that is for sure. And this one is by Jamel Shabazz, titled Youth and Age, Hempstead, New York, 2011. And this must be the 4th of July. Looks like a grandmother and her grandson hanging out on the porch, waiting for the festivities to begin. And here's another piece by Gordon Parks, also part of his segregation series for Life magazine. He wanted to show a, a little moment that doesn't include segregation. A moment where just two boys go out in nature and start doing some fishing, having fun and not worrying about a thing. And that's what these guys are doing, just kind of hanging out and having some fun together. And this piece is called Navajo Code Talkers, New York City, 2009. Looks like they're in some type of a parade and everyone around them in the vehicle is giving them praise and respect. Well deserved. Very well deserved. Oh wow. This is something I did not think I would be seeing today. A photograph by Gordon Parks of Muhammad Ali from 1970. Look at that. I love his eyes in this picture. Sweat pouring down his face. It's just, wow, it really is a work of art. Very well done, Gordon Parks. Well done. And these next two photographs capture the faith of both Gordon Parks and Jamel Shabazz. This one is by Gordon Parks. It's called Pastor Ledbetter, Metropolitan Baptist Church, Chicago, 1953. And this one over here is called The Giver of Life, Long Island, New York, 2000, by Jamel Shabazz. And I like how both of these photographs capture the spirituality of the moment. And this last photograph is called The Sisters of Philadelphia. This was taken in 
Pennsylvania in 1997, and it's by Jamal Shabazz. This is a good one to end on. Look at those outfits. That's awesome. Wonderful picture. And if you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. And thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me so far. This has been another successful adventure here at the Minnesota Museum of American Art. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side.